Hey, what's going on, guys? Ravi here from Ira Effects along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we'll be learning to make this sketch effect and then back to the normal reveal. And we'll be generating this effect in a very simple way using Adobe Premiere Pro. So, without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so I have a video of a lady here. Let me drag this video to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. So the first thing that we'll have to do is turn this video to the black and white. So in order to do that, go to the effects panel and simply type in color balance. And you have this color balance effect, the HLS and drag this onto our video just like this. So once when you do that, you have this options here and change the saturation to negative 100 so that our video is turned into black and white so now in order to have a sketch effect simply type in find edges and you have this find edges in the stylized folder in the video effects and drag this effect onto our video just like this and boom we have this sketch effect applied so now if you see we have this sketch effect applied and if you want to have uh, it in uh, with color pencils you can simply change the saturation value a bit down just so that you can see that you have this as if it is done with colors instead of a you know simple black and white sketch I want to leave this black and white so I'll change this value to negative 100 and uh, in order to have a cool reveal so in the beginning we'll have this sketch effect like this and we want to reveal it to the original at this point so what I'll do is is go to the find edges effect and I'll click on this timer button here so that a keyframe is created at zero percentage of blend with original and I'll move few frames forward and change this blend with original value to 100 what this does is it simply reveals out to the original footage and I'll also click on this timer button here for the saturation so that a keyframe is created and I'll move few frames forward at the at the reveal here and I'll change this value back to zero so now if I start playing the entire video, this is how it's going to look like. And this actually reveals into your original video. Something like this. Alright, I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always connect with me on instagram at vfx guy ravi mr zebo would you like to add something subscribe for more tutorials all right so see you guys next time with another tutorial